Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, which equation represents the arithmetic sequence below? 2, 6, 10, and 14, okay? So we're looking for an equation, right? That can represent my sequence, right? Which is the one right below my problem, okay? Well, first of all, uh, I want to see if you guys remember that there's a very easy way for us to actually find the equation, okay? And we can always use what is called the explicit formula, okay? Which is going to look something like this. I don't know if you remember seeing this one before. So let's write it down over here. So this is my explicit formula, okay? Now, there's some uh, terms that maybe you're like, well, I don't know what they mean, but we'll figure it out right now. For example, the D, okay, is going to be my difference, okay? And the difference, you will find it by subtracting your terms. Is that right? So this will be the common difference, okay? And we say common because it needs to be the same. If it's not the same, then we might not be able to use this uh, formula, okay? A of 1, which is this one, is actually the first term of my sequence, okay? So with that in mind, we're going to go back and see if we can find D, okay? So the first thing you're going to ask yourself is, how do I go from a 2 to a 6? If you cannot think about the difference, you can always subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. What about 10 minus 6? Still 4, right? What about 14 minus 10? It's still 4. So D is going to be equals to 4. And my A of 1 is going to be the 2 because it's the very first term of my sequence, okay? So... Let's go ahead and write down my explicit formula. Okay, so I have a of 1 plus d parentheses n minus 1. Okay, so I have a of 1 equals, we know a of 1, it's 2, so we're going to write down a 2. I do know the d, that's the common difference, which is a 4. And then I'm going to write down everything inside the parentheses, okay? So notice how anytime that you have parentheses, you are going to need to use that distributive property, right? Which is fine. We got this. You know how to do that. So I have a sub n equals that 2. It's not going to multiply anything. It's just by itself. Plus 4 times n gives me 4n. And 4 times a negative 1 gives me a negative 4. So I can write down minus 4. Okay? So I'm going to have a sub n equals... I can combine these two numbers here. Is that right? Okay. So my 4n, I cannot combine it with anything. So I'm going to bring it to the front. And 2 minus 4, it's negative 2. So let's look at the answer choices and see if you can find this one on the answer choices. Do we see it somewhere in there? Yes, right? It's letter Answer choice D, very good. That's going to be our answer.